And one of the rules, be quiet, please. Sit quietly. All right, the first book, Genesis. We're still in Genesis. We're going to go do a couple of stories in Genesis. 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 Because there's a lot of stories in Genesis. First book of the Bible that are very important and very interesting. So we're going to look at a few of the lives of the people that lived in Genesis. Today we're looking at Abraham's son. Remember last week we looked at Abraham. We learned a bit about his story. And you remember he had to, he was asked to sacrifice his son on an altar. But God stopped him, didn't he? The ram instead, because that was his only son. And remember that was a picture of God giving his only begotten son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Because Abraham thought he'd be raised again. So now we get to Isaac. And who did Isaac marry? Rebecca. That was Rebecca's what husband. Isaac is Rebecca's husband. Rebecca was Isaac's wife. So today we're going to look at a few pictures. We're going to look at the story of Isaac and Rebecca. How did they meet? Because Isaac couldn't, was having trouble finding a wife. He didn't have a wife. Well, he, wasn't, wasn't, he was having trouble finding somebody to marry. So Abraham asked his servant to help. So here we have a, the story. We just have some pictures, some cartoons. So this is Abraham in the cartoon. And this is Isaac, his only begotten son of Sarah. Right, so there was a son of promise, which was Isaac. And then he had his other son with the, with the servant which was Ishmael. So this is Isaac. Noah, excuse me. You sit down. Okay? You sit. Thank you. So the story goes like this. Abraham was going to help Isaac to find a wife because Isaac didn't have anybody to marry. So Abraham asked his servant to go into the land of his brother's and to find a wife for Isaac. So I know I was a little bit confused with the pictures because I thought this was just Isaac wearing a hat, but it's not. You see how Isaac has this collar. Even though they have the same collar, he doesn't have the hat. And the servant in the story has this hat. You see, and he doesn't have the collar, even though they're wearing the same blue collar. Okay, so then Abraham asks his servant to go into another land, land where his brothers are, to find a wife for Isaac. And he says to his servant, make sure that you don't let Isaac return into that land. Because you remember God called Abraham out of that land and he didn't want Isaac to move back there. So he says, you're going to go find a wife for my son, but make sure my son doesn't go back into that land. And he says, if the woman you find is not willing to leave the land, then it's okay if you don't find a wife for my son. So that's what he asked his servant to do. You see here, Genesis 24, verse 4. But thou shalt go unto my country and to my kindred. So this is Abraham talking to the servant. So you can imagine him saying this. And take a wife unto my son Isaac. Okay? So then they agree to that and his servant goes. And he takes with him ten camels. You count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So he takes ten camels with him, plus the one he's riding on. He's got a camel in this picture. And they've got all this stuff to bring to the family where he finds this lady. He's hoping to find this lady. And here's the servant on his camel over there. Now he gets to the place where he's looking for Isaac's wife. And there's a well there. And he says, you know what? I'm going to wait at this well when the daughters of the land come out to draw water and bring it back to their home. And he says to God, he prays to God and he says, you know what? The, la the lady that comes to draw water, I'm going to ask her for a drink. And then the lady that says, you know what? I'm also going to draw water for your camels as well. 
He says, that's how I'll know this is the right, this is the girl that God wants for Isaac. Does that make sense? So he goes down to where they draw the water. He says, I'm going to ask the girl for a drink. And he says, if the girl gets me a drink and says, you know what? I'm also going to get drink for your camels. He says, that's the girl I know. It's going to be the one for Isaac. Look at here. Genesis 24, 14. And let it come to pass. So this is now the servant, right? Talking to God. That the damsel to whom I shall say, let down thy pitcher. What's a pitcher? It's your jug. You go down, or your, or your bucket goes down into the well. I pray thee, it means I ask you, that I may drink. And she shall say, drink. And look at this. And I will give thy camels drink also. Let the same be she that thou hast appointed for thy servant Isaac. And thereby shall I know that thou hast showed kindness unto my master. So you see how that's what the servant here. He's praying to God and he's saying, hey, the girl that I asked for a drink, she's going to get me a drink. She's also going to get my camels a drink. That's how I'm going to know, God, that this is the one that you want Isaac to marry. And as soon as he's done praying, who comes along? What was her name? Who remembers? Rebecca. Rebecca. Rebecca comes along with her pitcher. She's coming to draw water. And he asks Rebecca for a drink like he prayed. And what did Rebecca say? I'm going to get you a drink and... Camels as well. See, she's a hard-working girl, isn't she? So, you see here, not only did she get the servant a drink, but she filled the trough of water for the camels too. Oh, wasn't the servant happy? Because he's saying, oh, God has led me to the woman that Isaac may, want, well, he's going to marry. So he offers her some gifts. And then it's starting to get late, isn't it? So he says, is there somewhere where we can lodge? Does your father's house have room and straw for our camels? And she says, he does. So she invites the servant over, the servant of Abraham, to go and stay with them at their place. And they give them food for their camels and everything like that. And what does the servant do? He's so happy that God has led him to this lady for Isaac that he bows his head and he worships God. Now when he goes to meet the brother of Rebekah, brother is Laban. Well, so I'll show you this first verse. Genesis 24, 27. And he said, so this is the servant, Blessed be the Lord God of my master Abraham, who hath not left destitute my master of his mercy and his truth, I being in the way the Lord led me to the house of my master's brethren. See, sometimes this is how you get led by God. You just have to be in the right place and God will lead you. Like the servant here, he says, I being in the way, right, the right way, the Lord led me. So the servant goes with Rebecca to Laban's house. This is Laban. Okay, and he greets him. And you know what the servant says? The servant retells the story. The servant says, Well, I came here looking for a wife for my master's son, Isaac. And I went to the well and I said, Hey, the lady that I say, give me a drink. And she gets my camels also. Then I'll know that God has showed me mercy. And he recounts this story to Laban. And Laban says, If this is what God has done, who am I to stop what God is doing? So... This is the stuff that he was bringing with the camels. The gifts and the jewels and things to give to the family. So he gave them all this stuff you know, as a, as a gift in order to, for Isaac to be able to marry Rebekah. Now, in Genesis 24, 56, he's saying, hey, I want to go back and bring, uh, bring Rebekah to Isaac. And he said unto them, Look, hinder me not. So he's saying, Don't stop me. Seeing the Lord hath prospered my way, send me away that I may go to my master. So why is the servant saying that? Because Laban's saying, Hey, come, eat, relax a bit. Spend some time here before you bring Rebecca back. And the servant goes, No, no, don't stop me from going back. I've already found 
the Lord has prospered my way. I want to go back and bring Rebecca to Isaac. So he just stays the one night and then Rebe uh, Laban asks Rebecca, do you want to go with this man? And what do you think she said? Yes, she wants to go. So they go together back to where Abraham is with Isaac. And now she's on one of the camels. They're travelling back. And when they get back closer to where Abraham and Isaac live, Rebecca sees Isaac afar off. He's out in the field, meditating, you know, thinking about God's word, thinking about things. She's asked, hey, who's that man off in the distance? And the servant says, oh, it's my master, Isaac. So Rebecca puts a veil over her face. She gets off her camel. And when they meet, Isaac is here. See how they're wearing the same clothes? <laughs> The servant then tells Isaac what happened. I went here looking for a wife for you, asked you know, her to give me a drink. She filled for my camels also, and this is how God prospered my way. And you can see Isaac is really happy. So Isaac takes Rebecca into his mother's tent, and you know, in here there's like a celebration, and she became Isaac's wife. What an amazing story, hey? Now, Isaac didn't have somebody to marry, but God used the servant of Abraham to find Isaac a wife. Genesis 24, 67. And Isaac brought her into his mother Sarah's tent and took Rebekah, and she became his wife, and he loved her, and Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. Okay, so this is how Isaac and Rebekah met. Now what's, some, what's a parallel where we can compare this to Jesus, because every story has a relevance to Jesus, doesn't it? Well, if you remember, Abraham sent his servant to go find his son a wife. Isn't that the story? So how does that relate to today, to us? Well, God the Father has servants as well. Who are they? Jesus. No, that's his son. No, well, that's, that's, that he has angels too, which also is servants. Us. That's right. So God the Father has a servant. That's us. And we are trying to find a wife for his son. Who's his son? Jesus. Now, who is going to be Jesus' wife? It's going to be the church, right? Which is the body of believers all around the world, right? Eventually. One day we'll all be together. And so when we go out... <laughs> And we tell people about Jesus. That's what we're doing. We're the servant going out to find a wife for the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, so just like Abraham sent his servant to go find a wife for my son, we have to do the job of the servant today as well. And when we go tell people about Jesus, that's how we gather together the believers and one day we prepare a bride for God's only begotten son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. I hope you learned a little bit there about Isaac and Rebecca. So you have Abraham, Isaac and Rebecca. And then next week, we're going to look at who? Do you know the next, fa next father of the Jews? Do you know? Jacob. Jacob. That's right. So we'll learn a bit more about Jacob next week.